we're going to be so happy about the latest news about my situation. I have officially ADD. And this has been an incredible revelation about myself. Going back and tracing back all the things that I've done in my life, the way that I do things, the way that my brain works, the way that I handle situations, the way that I sort out my work, my home, my own schedules, even my friendships, my food, is everything is screaming that I have ADD. And it has been such a torture to put a children like me uh, in, in her early use to sit down and force it to work in a way that has been designed for people who, who are easily obeyed and take pleasure of uh, doing routine things by sitting for hours. I can do that if I'm really interested in something. I can, I can edit a movie or a film that I'm doing because I'm interested in and uh, because there's like a too, far too much stimulation and I have to think in a way that it's, I'm in my own bubble and it's, it's like the brain is firing up synapses of information. My neurons are so excited. They, they just want to carry on for hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, fantastic. But then there's a big crash. It's almost like a big depression because the brain has been stimulated so much and it's worked so fast. When I stop, I kind of expect the rest of the world to catch my speed. And when it doesn't, it's like a feeling of a failure, feeling of, oh my God, and huge depression comes through. So managing ADD becomes a very interesting subject. But let's have a first look. If you have an ADD, you might be really surprised because I was super surprised. I'll tell you what, how I learned my ADD. We were taking a course. So my partner was diagnosed by a, 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 by a psychiatrist couple who are specialized also in ADD and entrepreneurship, ADD and relationships uh, amongst lots of other subjects. Um, they're like, you just, to my partner, you have to take this course. If you value your life, value your work, value your relationship, you have to understand what an ADD is, what is management, because you're just screaming at it, because yes, he is like, but he has the hyper, so he has ADHD. I think ADD and ADHD works different in men than it, they, they work different in women. They're it's more subtle. If you're a woman, you may not notice it until you're really uh, matured and start to looking at much more deeper side effects and effects. And uh, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you know that you have ADD. Um, so we were watching this course for him. And I was like, because I, I, because I'm his partner, because I get really tired uh, with his overstimulations, and because I've always been like, I need to organize my brain, I need to organize my life. I, everything has to be organized, otherwise I'm just too much like a ping pong ball, because I get distracted from everything. And the way that I work is, as an ADD person that who didn't know who has an ADD, uh, I break everything into little pieces that I don't get bored of doing anything. So it was so much more rewarding and easy for me to finish 10 tasks simultaneously than one. But in that environment, if, I, if something else comes in, then everything just goes off. So it's very, very on the edge of way of working. But when you don't know, you just make your own rules up that find a way that works for you. 
So me and my partner, Ash, we were watching this course and suddenly I started to think, I'm just fitting into all these boxes. And this, uh, the instructor, the, the psychiatrist friend of ours, um, and he was saying, it's generally if you have ADD, you might have ADD, like a partner. And if you do, you might have ADD, someone in your family. And I started to look, look back at my family and the hyper, my mom is a super hyper person. My uncle's a super hyper I'm like, oh my God. But it just reflects different in women. If you have, if you don't have structures, you are doomed, dude. <laughs> so, and then my partner started telling me that, do you know what? I think you might have an ADD too. I think we should like a, get a professional opinion about you. It's not just like uh, putting him under spotlights because every, 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 every little thing he said, like, I have it. So this is about a few years ago, I started writing this uh, self-help book to myself that I learned how to deal with multiple complex situations. And the first thing in that book, I was saying, only do only one thing. Start that one thing and everything else that is popping in, you should say no and do only one thing and finish that thing. Guess what? That is the first thing that comes in the course. The way to manage the first number one step of the run. Of course, you always have to look at the food. Red dye, cut it out of your life. Sugar, in some cases it affects, in some cases it doesn't. It affects me. Uh, the food really affects me, my moods, my swings. But when you put it aside, the first thing is, only do one thing. Don't try to do 10 things because you know you can't. Because there's always another distraction and you feel like you can't finish them and then it just becomes like 20 things happening at the same time and you're like in the middle of a war zone and you don't know what to do. Do one thing, but remind it to yourself that you are doing one thing and it has been a life changer. It's incredible. So I'm doing a task. I'm putting out a social media. I'm editing a video. I'm just doing something. I'm writing, writing a blurb about my show. Uh, I have a one woman show, which is called K90. It's, I'm writing a blurb about it. I'm writing the press release about it. I'm sending it. I'm like, but I also want to do lots of things. Like one of the examples, I went to the kitchen, opened the kitchen cupboard and I saw this pan is, Oh, this will do a great soup fan. Why don't I go and get some winter vegetables, squash and things, so I can make some some I can make some soup. So we. Can... Do you see what I'm saying? What I'm coming from, and I would definitely do that. Like, I would go and get some squash and put it in the pan. Put a little bit um, uh, onions and garlic and splash some herbs around it. It will take me about an hour and then I'll be, all oh, right, okay, there's soup, some soup ready for tonight and for tomorrow. But then in, in that time, I, I broke my, I paused my flow of doing the other things. So I have to go back to it by remembering where I was. It takes a little bit of time and then I'm a little bit exhausted and all those a little bit exhaustions adds up and it's like, half eight in the evening, I'm still working on stuff because I haven't finished it, but I make the soup and I cleaned the bathroom and I hoovered the house. And I did like an Instagram post thing and I, I answered too many emails and I responded to that thing. But my main thing was to, what, what was it? Okay, I'm questioning you, you're being quizzed. Right, the press release and send it, send the email to uh, magazines or organizations, and it's like an invitation for them to come to my shop. <laughs> so it's like midnight, I'm still stressing that I haven't done it. 
So when I saw that soup bowl, I when I saw that bowl and it was really beautiful terracotta, big pan, the soup will taste amazing. And Ash saw me picking up that and he said, stop, what are you doing, Ashe? And I said, this bowl will do amazing soup bowl, soup pan. What about squash soup? And he said, stop, don't. This is your ADD talking. You got to stop it. Oh, that was a relief. I left it, I went upstairs, carry on working.